Hey guys, Austin here. So today we're here to talk about X500 bounce backs. Now, what is an X500 bounce back? Well, we can call an X500 a legacy exchange address. Now, you're gonna get an X500 bounce back for a couple different particular reasons. Either a mailbox was changed to a distribution list, contact, or you have some old cached legacy information within your Outlook client. Now, if this information exists, we're gonna need to clear that out. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the following screen and we're gonna look at some key indicators of this X500 bounce pack. All right, so taking a look at some of those key indicators on the screen, we're gonna see one string of text. Now, if this string of text is in there, you have an X500 bounce pack. It's gonna go by I M C E A E X. Also, if it's a 550 error, it didn't make it to the recipient, that's your last indicator. So keep in mind that troubleshooting is gonna be client specific. The first client we're gonna take a look at today is gonna to be OWA. Now, imagine sending to example, you get the X500 bounce back. Well, let's go ahead and type out example at emailhelpvids.com. What we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna delete this autocomplete address. We're gonna do so by clicking delete on the keyboard. After clicking delete, we're gonna to wanna to try and send to it manually. Let's go ahead and type out example at we're gonna search the directory. After searching the directory, we'll find the updated global address list contact. Go ahead and hit send, and you'll be good to go. So the next mail client we're gonna take a look at is gonna be Outlook. Now, say you have an X500 error sending to example. Well, in this case, I'll type out example at email help vids, and the autocomplete address will show up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit delete on the keyboard that will remove it after doing so go ahead and type out the address you're wanting to send to once doing that go ahead and hit send and you'll be good to go something important to consider is going to be if you're in a hybrid exchange and rackspace email environment you're going to want to make sure that the box below is checked visible and hosted exchange gal what this is going to do is create a contact on the exchange environment now, keep in mind, if you modify your Rackspace email mailbox, this will also make some changes, which can create some X500 bounce backs. So today we went over Outlook and OWA. If you're looking for some more documentation on more popular clients like MacMail and Thunderbird, please feel free to check out the articles we link. Lastly, if you're still having problems after following the previous troubleshooting steps, this just means there's more digging that needs to be done on the back end. Get that bounce back to your email administrator and they'll get you taken care of. Until next time. Have a great one.